this beautiful documentary about Lucy and Desi in which we laughed and cried in it. Yeah. I think we should talk about how we remind ourselves that we really are in love. Also, one of the things we do is I travel a lot more than he does. And so we have something called the joy of missing. Mm. And that is that we're apart. And so we have enough space to be alone in our own spaces and then come back together and really love the, and cherish the time that we're together. That's right. Yeah. And we're not apart for nine years. That's right. Yeah. Nine years would be too much. No. Yeah. So that's one thing. Another thing is we resolve issues that we have as quickly as possible. We have a whole technique or a series of techniques that we use for returning to love as quickly as can be. And that's part of what we teach in our Extraordinary Lovers course. Yeah. How to return to love over and over again, even after trespasses, even after ugly moments, even after arguments, even after whatever. We have a process for returning to love. And we practice those things. They're not just acute quips and things that we say. They're actually things that we intentionally activate in each other, especially when it comes to forgiveness, not only asking for it, but offering it and then allowing that forgiveness. A lot of people say that love is unconditional or true love is unconditional. And I don't believe that. I believe love is conditional. There are conditions under which I can easily love a person and there are conditions under which I cannot love. And Lori and I have been able to navigate that because we now know what love is. We're like Forrest Gump. Wait a second. I was uh, going to say that coming to the bedroom and to the relationship with beginner's mind, like you don't like it. If I say, oh, I know you, yeah. I know that about you. I know this about you. You like it. If I don't know this about you, if I don't categorize you. So that's also coming to the relating, the newness with yeah. a beginner's mind over and over again. Yeah. What's new? And being aware of the times where we begin to get into the rut of familiarity, because we both know that familiarity breeds contempt. And there are a number of things that happen in every relationship when you have so much familiarity with a person that you begin to project one. And then the other thing is to anticipate. And both of those things can cause havoc in a relationship. What was really interesting to me, and I've been saying this for the longest time, was that as we were watching this movie, mm. this documentary, Lucy and Desi eventually get divorced. And her children are saying the weirdest thing was, is that right after they were divorced, they began to get along again. They began to yeah. treat each other with respect they and honor each other. They best friends. She called him every day. Desi Lu Studios was the largest studio in the world, literally, and then eventually sold it off to Paramount. But the point is that they continued on together after they dissolved this thing that Lori and I consider relationship. Mm -hmm. The relationship dissolved. And once the relationship was dissolved, they now had boundaries again, and they were able to then operate in a way that was more loving, that was conscientious, that was respectful. Yeah, and caring. And, they, and all of a sudden, they lost all the bitterness and rivalry and upset. And they were able to work with each other. It's really fascinating to me. That's what happens. Have you ever noticed that when you break up with somebody, all of a sudden you get along with them better? Unless you don't. <laughs> but <laughs> I've noticed. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. So anyway, those are some of the tips that we have. We don't, we have many more and we mm. teach them in a course yeah. called Extraordinary Lovers, which you can find out more about at lauriehandlers.com. You yeah. can go to lauriehandlers.com and find out more about our courses. But we just had to come on and talk about it because we were really moved by seeing it. And then, of course, in our background <laughs> lurking is the things that Kobe said to me. And Kobe. And so I, I've never met Kobe, but I, I will hug him and I would tell him thank you. I'm, yeah, because offer him he that. warned us yeah. about something at, to stay away from. Yeah. And we now saw two people who so loved each other mm. and that happened to them. So I don't want that to happen to us. So we have to do everything. We have to be really present and yeah. really conscious. We don't want that to happen to you either. No, we don't. And you have to be present and conscious. And you've, but you, I also recommend that you connect with other couples or if you're in a throuple or if you're, but connecting with others who are in relating that are relating with each other and who are committed to each other and loving. And so, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you're, you're present to the state of your relating at all times yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, I really love that show and I love you. Thank you. I love telling our story. It's so much fun. Thank you. And it's I, me too. Unique. It is unique. Yeah. Who would have ever thought? I never. I would have never thought I would meet somebody that met me so fully. Mm -hmm. And that makes me really happy. Thank you. Yeah, I kiss you. Yeah, and you can kiss me on our podcast. Is that all right? I guess. Is it okay? Is it okay with you? I hope so. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. All right. That's it for us this evening. We hope you enjoyed this and we hope mm. you actually watch the film and see what you think about it and see what you could do to also prevent that happening to you because sometimes the greatest love of all is the greatest love right in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Okay. Okay.